All right, yogis, it's day five. And if you're feeling how I'm feeling, then you're tired. Your body is like, girl or boy, I had enough. Stick with it. We're trying to develop a habit, right? Yoga every day and see how we can translate that practice of pushing through the resistance to do something and just get it done. We want to translate all of that into every aspect of our lives. Every aspect of our lives. My acoustics in here are terrible, so I'm trying to, you know, cut through clear. But today, we're going to take it easy. I know we've had a buildup over the past four days, so we're just going to get a full body stretch. Thanks, trash can. <laughs> today, we're going to start standing. So come to the front edge of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, nice long spine, mountain pose, also known as Tadasana. Again, standing up very tall. Close the eyes here. We'll take a conscious deep breath in. Exhale, release. Whatever does not serve you. On your inhale, reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingertips and press the palms up towards the ceiling. So you should feel both sides of the torso opening up. Relax the shoulders down. Relax the muscles in the face. Breathe into the sides of your body. Beautiful. On your inhale, find the twist over to the left. So we're just twisting the torso over to the left, keeping the feet planted. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, take it over to the right. And exhale, bring it back to center. I'm already popping. On your next inhale, hinge over to the left. So we're hinging at the hips. Again, feet planted, torso only. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, take it over to the right. Exhale, back to center. And when you arrive, release the arms. We'll cross this right arm over the front. Cross the right arm over. Reach the left arm up. Palm faces towards you. And with each exhale, you can guide this left palm closer to your body. And you'll find that you get a deeper stretch in your shoulder. It should feel good. Feels good to me. I told y'all when I be feeling it, I just close my eyes. Connect to the breath. Nice. Release, switch sides. Taking the left arm across and then right arm up. Fingertips spread wide. Press as far as you like. Okay, so if going deeper is a little bit too much for you today, that's fine. Find that comfortable space. Beautiful. And release the arms. Nice. We'll reach the left arm up and overhead to reach for that right ear. And then guiding the head over to the side. Be mindful to keep the shoulder relaxing down. Breathe. Today is just all about feeling good, right? Deep stretch. Switching sides. Right arm up to meet the left ear. Slowly guiding it over to your right side. Breathe into any tight spaces. Beautiful, release, come back to center. Now we'll drop the chin to the chest, start to draw circles with the nose. So take the head over to the left, take it to the back and to the right. And back down. Take another circle here. Being mindful to breathe. Take it slow. No rush. When your chin drops down to the chest, take it the other direction. So we swing it over to the right. To the back. Try not to clasp the neck back here. And around and down. Take one more. Just feeling good today, guys. Nothing 
special, nothing fancy. When the chin drops down to the chest, roll the head up back to center. We'll take both arms out wide and then wrap your arms around you. So bring the left arm on top. Give yourself a hug. Maybe slightly pulling away from the body as you rest the palms on the shoulder blades. Nice, release, open up again. Arms out to the side. This time we'll bring the right arm across the top. Give yourself a hug. Self-love, I'm all about it. If you can't love yourself, how am I? You gonna love somebody else? Come on, Paul. <laughs> and release. Nice job, guys. Inhale, soften in the knees. Reach the arms up. Exhale to swan dive over Uttanasana. Forward fold. Ooh, yes. Let it go. If it feels good to keep a slight bend in the knees here, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. If it feels good to keep a slight bend in the knees here, that's fine. Let the neck and head hang heavy. Just let the arms rest where they are. If it feels good, start to pedal the feet out as we start to open up the hamstrings. This might feel a little weird body composition wise, but it feels really yummy. Don't ask me who told me yummy was a feeling, but it is to me. Nice and relax. Legs down. Turn it back to center. Slowly roll up through the spine. Take your time. Head is the last thing to raise. Beautiful. This time we'll take our feet a little wider. Take your stance a little wider and then turn the toes just slightly inward a bit, right? Not too much, just slightly. Take the arms out to the sides, star pose. From here, we'll just drop or we'll hinge at the hips so we're folding forward, right? Finding this flat back. Take your time, this should feel good on the hamstrings, lower, 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 lower. And then you can drop your arms down beneath you. Holding here, or maybe going a little deeper with each exhale. Finding what feels good for you. Breathe in through the nose, into the belly. Exhale, find a sense of release. Maybe you're holding some tension in the body somewhere. If you're here, that's fine. If you're gradually working your way down, deepening your stretch, find what feels good, or maybe you're just playing around with this motion, right? Lifting and lowering. A few more breaths. Nice, take your last inhale wherever you are. If you're holding or if you're finding a little flow like me, exhale, release. Nice, from here, we'll keep this left palm planted beneath your gaze and then reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Find the twist. You can keep your gaze down at the palm beneath you, out to the side or up towards the sky, whatever feels good for you, find it today. Modify it as you need to. Great job, we're switching sides. Bringing this right palm down, directly underneath your gaze. Left arm up, beautiful, breathe into it, and then really press away from the earth with this right arm, nice long arms. Breathe. Great job, release it down. From here, we'll just walk our hands over to this side and then find your lunge. Runner's lunge. And I say this side because I'm mirroring you guys. So whatever side you wanna work on first is fine. 
because we're going to balance it out. Maybe you find a gentle rock back and forth, or maybe you pulse up and down, right? Whatever feels good for you, or if you're just holding here, if you want to take it deeper, find what feels good. If, you, if you're looking to deepen your stretch, you have options, you have variety. So everybody's body is different. Every day your body is different. So just acknowledge where you are, accept where you are. Beautiful. Wherever you are, everyone frame the foot, plant that back heel, and straighten out your front leg. Beautiful. So you're creating this beautiful triangular shape with the legs. Option to just stay where you are or if it feels good, you can lower down over the leg. And try to get your nose to me. Beautiful. From here, we walk the palms back to center. Turn the toes in as we travel to the other side. We'll turn that opposite foot outward. Find your lunge. We pivot on the back foot. And then we right back at the other side. Exploring what feels good, finding that organic movement. Again, if it's the rock, if it's the pulse, or if you're just stationary, or if you want to go look. <laughs> Whatever feels good for you today, explore it, find it. Breathe into it, breathe into the body. Nice and easy today, nothing fancy. Nice, press into the palms. Bring the foot. Drop that back heel so that it's parallel to the back edge of the mat. Straighten out the front leg. Ooh, we're creating shapes. It's a triangle. Again, option to stay where you are or take it a little deeper. If you feel that your stance is a little too wide, you can always cheat this back foot a little bit closer. Or leave it and breathe. In through the nose, into the belly. Let it go. Nice. Let's come out of this. We'll walk back to the center. Turn the foot inward. And we're back in our wide leg. Forward fold. This time, see if you can reach for the ankles and maybe pull yourself a little deeper. If you aren't there yet, just try to gradually lower down until you can reach the crown of the head to your mat. So this is a great way to transition into your headstand. So if you do have a headstand in your practice, find it now. Not hold here with me. Breathe into the backs of the legs. Find areas to find softness, to let the tension go. Nice. Plant the palms, center. And we'll just heel toe the feet in together. Take your time. Another place. Nice. Have a seat. I promise y'all today was going to be a little chill. Give yourself a little love or rolling down. To our backs. Keep your feet flat on the mat. Nice long spine, make any adjustments you need to. We will love the head and sit on forever. Great job, guys. We'll extend our right leg up towards the ceiling and then hug it close to the body. So reach for the ankle, wrap both hands around the ankle. 
and just naturally, wherever you land, just hold it there. Breathe into the back of your right hamstring. Maybe you can find ankle rotations one way. And then the other. And really move slowly and controlled. You'll find areas in this part of your leg that you're stretching that you have never stretched before. When you feel complete, you can flex the foot. And then with each exhale, see if you can guide this leg a little closer. Breathe. So the key is to keep the leg as straight as possible. We don't want to bend, right? Keep that leg straight. You find that the deeper you go, the more you shake. Embrace it. Your body is building up flexibility. So allow it to happen. It may feel a little bit dis. You may feel a little bit discomfort, but as long as you don't feel any sharp, stinging pains, totally fine. Take your last deep breath here. Exhale. Float the leg all the way down. And then straighten out the left leg. And then see how you feel. Your right leg might feel a little bit longer than your left, right? Yeah. All right, let's work on the other side. Both feet flat on the floor. This time, left foot reaches up towards the ceiling. Reach for your left ankle. Or if that's not available to you, you can always come right beneath the knee, above the knee or beneath the knee. Whatever feels good for you. Wherever you feel most supported, find it. And when you arrive, slow ankle rotations one way. The socket doing its own thing. I usually never practice in socks because I love to have the grip for my toes, but I don't know. It felt a little different the past two days. And then when you reach the center, take it the other way. Nice and slow. Observe what your body is doing. Feel what your body is doing. What muscles are being stretched? What areas I'm hitting that I've never reached before? This is new. When you feel complete, flex the foot. With each exhale, guiding that leg a little bit closer. And I'm much more flexible than this, right? If I wanted to just swing this leg all the way back, I could. Not today. Be mindful. Acknowledge where you are. My body's a little tight. So I'm just giving a nice little stretch, a little love. So I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging, I'm not forcing the leg down. I'm guiding. Nice job, guys. Release the hands. Release this left leg. Release the right leg to meet the left. Palms face up, make whatever adjustments you need to. And let it all go. Notice the sensations in the legs. Maybe you experience some tingling or some warmth. Maybe they feel really loose. Or maybe they're still a little tight. Whatever it is, we're acknowledging it and honoring where we are. So this is the time to clear your mind and relax every muscle in the body. Feet, 
legs, arms, hips and shoulders press down, the spine is nice and long and supported. Relax the muscles in the face, between the eyebrows, the jaw. The mind is clear, present in this moment. No care for the past. No desires for the future. Just enjoying, celebrating, honoring this moment. Connecting to the breath. Observing the flow of the breath. And one with yourself. We start to awaken the body by wiggling the toes, the fingers, Draw both knees up towards the ceiling, feet flat on the floor, nice and slow. Roll over to your left side in a fetal position. And just hang out here for a moment. Sit up nice and tall, ground down through the tailbone. Find the length in the spine, relax the shoulders, close the eyes. I acknowledge the space in you where the universe resides. When you are in that space in you, I am in that space in me. We are connected and we are one. Namaste.